Hey everyone, uh, I'm still trying to get more ideas for Halloween. I still do think I'm going to put Harvester back in the bush again this year. But the problem is, his poles are broken, sort of, and they don't really go in anymore. They just fall right off because his poles are broken. They're snapped, and the twist to lock into place is even broken on the poles. But... <laughs> You know, Gramps is probably going to go there. I don't know if I'm going to use floating ghosts this year. Any of the kinds. Um, I still have to watch of how much batteries I, I'm going to need, be needing. And how much adapters and stuff. Like, these... I will be wanting to use, like, these chairs maybe for some decorations. Like, the Grandma. Or... Gruesome Granny's gonna need a chair right off the bat, right away. So she will go in one of these chairs, but I also may put in like one of those jumping props in it if there's one that is like a zombie that has its arms posed on the chair. Like if the arms are posed like this, you know, because the jumping dog has arms that pose, that would be great <laughs> to put on a chair and it would jump up at people. But here's another thing. I was thinking about like using a bike for bone collector for this year because bone collector, if the bike does is durable and won't tip over, bone collector could easily sit on my bike. And he could be a bike rider, but I just don't have a biking costume for him. But I don't know if he would actually need one. I have lots of chairs, so I can, it could be like a chair theme this year with it's, it could be somewhat like a party or something theme, but I still will have a graveyard as well. But <laughs> mainly the props that don't have tombstones will be on chairs maybe, or they'll just go in the yard. I'm not even close to done figuring out because I have so many props. And I don't even have one fourth of them where I'm going to be putting them. Just train ideas. The garage, I have no idea what could go in, what should go in there this year. I just don't know where I'm gonna put up some spotlights for my props either. <laughs> It'd be cool to put a prop in the garbage can and have it like rise out, but it would be sort of too heavy and too stinky. <laughs> This is my, oh wait, that's my broken bike, so that could be used for Halloween, for something to sit on. But seriously, that, some, it would just fall off. But maybe it would be possible if spirits can make a prop where you could actually put it onto the bike. Like you see this part right here, you could like take the bike seat off and put the prop on it. That would be pretty awesome, I think. But not everybody would have a durable bike for it then but that's just an idea I'm sure I could find a piece I mean I'm sure I could strap a monster on it but the base is the big problem mainly they're all round and fat and stuff and they don't make a good contact on things so I don't know if that would work but Oh, there is a lot of work to be done. And I really don't make props. Because yet, that would take up more room. And I don't make equipment for my props. But I, it would be cool to, to make my own like chairs or equipment for them. But I don't have any of those tools. And I'm flat broke this year. I do not have a budget at all. So, I don't even know if I'll get half of spirit props this year. Oh, I will get some. But yeah. But yeah. Any more ideas? You can share. Bye.